Good morning. It's Wednesday, October 26th. And you know, every morning I am looking to find out if I can rant about something, something interesting, something out of the ordinary. Well, they're not really that ordinary, but they just pop into my mind. So yesterday morning I get this email from the Bank of America that is titled, Can You Spot a Scam? I think that's worth looking at, you know, to see if I... I'm going to learn something new about what scammers do. And I know the basic rules, you know. Don't send any money to anybody. Don't do this. Don't do that. So I figured I'll go looking and see if there's something else that I ought to worry about. If there's some new event that's going on. We're all familiar with the grandparent scam where you get a call and the child or person on the other line says... Hello, Grandma, Grandpa, whatever it is. And there you have never been called Grandma or Grandpa in your life because all your kids call you Baba or Zadie or Papu or some other national indicator that is not English, you know. So in any event, I'm going to run through these things and just remind us all that there are scams out there. And so I'm going out to see the signs that you're being scammed, that type of thing, you know. And it's under the title of Know the Red Flags. The most common types of scams target you through fake emails, text messages, voice calls, letters, or even someone who shows up at your front door unexpectedly. No matter which technique the scammers use, you may be contacted unexpectedly, right? And you may be pressured to act immediately with an alarming phone call, an email, or a text that plays with your emotions. I know several people who have been scammed and fell for it, and it always involved, in those cases, a grandchild or a close relative who was in trouble with either the law or in a supposed accident, and they needed a lot of money in a hurry. Now, a lot of money is not a lot, a lot of money. It's a couple thousand dollars usually because I think it's difficult for a scammer to call somebody out of the blue and ask them for like a million bucks or something like that. So in any event, they caution you in this article, do not act unless you have verified the person who has contacted you and that the story and the request is legitimate. But scammers don't want you to do that. They don't give you any time to check stuff out. So if you get a scammer, he's going to want that money right away. He's going to tell you to send it some ridiculous way. Go down to the local bank and get a thing and issue it and send it out such and such a way. Yeah, they want you to send either a gift card or a prepaid debit card or some kind of digital currency which includes Zelle to resolve the fund. The Bank of America will never ask you to transfer money to anyone, including yourself, and will never ask you to transfer money because we detected fraud on your account. So the Bank of America is presenting this case to me to tell me to watch out for scammers who might be using the Bank of America as an, as a scam device, you know. And don't give anybody any personal information or account information or an account verification code, you know. Don't give them their bank account number or your PIN number. And if you have any doubts, never give it out. I never give it out to anybody anyhow. Nobody calls me for money. I give money when I have to give money. But nobody ever asks me for money. Now, if you're offered a product, a free product, or a get-rich-quick opportunity that seems too good to be true, rest assured it is. It is too good to be And never, never cash a check for somebody that you don't know. And if you authorize a transfer of money to a scammer, you may never get your money back. There's very little the bank can do once you've done that, you know. So the bank is looking out for their own interests and is looking out for your interests in some way, shape, or form. And it you better know all the scams that are going on, you know. The scammers pose as businesses or people you know, like the grandpa or grandma scam, where that's supposed to be your grandchild on the other line. And my favorite question to somebody who gives me that line of bullshit is, tell me your father's name. 
and then they hang up, you know. So be cautious. Don't be pressured to respond immediately. This is what scammers want you to do. Now, I'm sure I'm repeating all kinds of things that you know, right? And there are many scams there. There are online sales scams. So if you go online, you'll find some crap and then uh, it won't be good for you. And you got to verify that the website you're looking at and the URL's S or domain name is a correct site. So you have to look for certain things about the websites. And I know that most people are not equipped to do that. Then you got the real estate scams, you know. If you're looking for a vacation rental or are purchasing or refinancing a home, you could be a target for scammers. And then there's investment scams. Now, you know, I was a broker in uh, what they called the boiler room at one time in my career. So I know about investment scams where people will call you up and say they got a hot stock or something. So don't send any money, don't send any digital digital currency, no cryptocurrency, no instant money transfers, none of those things. And then they got something that's called the romance scam. Somebody may contact you versus a dating app or social media and try to establish a trusting, caring, believable relationship. And they want to do that as quickly as possible. And I don't know why anybody would want to pay for romance, you know. But that's a whole other story. So, you know, be careful. Don't post any information out there on social media that these scammers can get their hands on. And then there's technology scams. You know. So that's the key there is don't give anybody access to any of your electronic devices. You know. Your passwords and things like that should be kept under wraps and key and only you should know them. I'm telling you all of this and I'm sure all of you know all of these things. But I figure I want to remind you, you know, we need reminding at our age quite often. And so, that's all I have, really. And pay attention, I guess. Pay attention to your surroundings and don't get sucked in. And if you get a phone call like that, you can play along or you can just hang up quickly. So have a great day. I hope you don't get scammed soon.